so like this so window has so many options like this so these are all some of the main things which you will be using in the day-to-day -day daily life and remaining all we can learn it when the requirement comes and all those things depending on the requirement we can learn it now another important uh, property in the window that is nothing but we need to learn important is the document okay so document window dot document so here you'll be having window dot document okay so this is a document document is nothing but the page html page so which you are trying to open so this is a google page we have seen it right so this is nothing but a document this one is called as a document don't uh, confuse with the window and the document document is the page which you are trying to open window is a total browser so this is a document this is called as a document so now document contains something like in document also you can able to access the url so you can document dot url so you can able to get the url like this so we will be using most probably from the window dot location dot href only but i am trying to show you if i want to get the title of this page so i can use document dot title so i will be able to get the title of this page so what is the title of this page and uh, <clears throat> so like this you will be having so for example let's say that i will be having something like document dot body okay so as a prefix you will be having window also don't uh, i am when i am not writing the window so don't think that this is an independent one so this belongs to the window only window dot document dot body so when you click on body so you will be able to get the body so there is nothing but a body element which is present in the html so here this is the body element so this body element we are able to get it so using this document only we will be traversing through the html and finding an element or de uh, deleting an element creating an element these are all the things you'll try to do it for example let's say that <coughs> let's open jsbin so here i am having a paragraph element okay this is a paragraph i am writing here this is a paragraph and again uh, at the bottom i am having div element so this is a div element like this we are having let's say show. so these are the two elements which are available in the here now if i try to run it here let's see this one console yeah so now here i will write console.log document means you will get a big object if you try to run it you will be at a big object so there is nothing but which is available in the window object only. so this is a big object document there is nothing but an html now i want to get a body el body body element so here i can write console.log document.body okay so if i try to access if i try to access yeah if i try to access this one document.body so then this time you will be able to access the tag name body here you will be able to see it right the content which is available these are all the things it is trying to show you so now we are able to access this body so the entire body i'm able to access now what i want to do is i want to access this paragraph element okay so whatever the elements that are available in the body those are all nothing but a children okay these are all children i want to access the first children so then what i can do is here i can do dot children okay so first element i want to access though so that means i can say that of zero so i can say it as document dot body dot children of zero now if i try to run this one so here this time i am able to access here tag name p okay text node 3 so content also i am able to access it so if i try to remove this console and if i try to see the uh, here i am able to access this document dot the children so now if i try to for example the console we have seen it right the object we are able to see it for example let's try to run here so here we are able to have a text content text content means nothing but this is a paragraph so this is the text content if i want to change the text content for this one so what can i do is here document dot body inside that body i want to get a first children okay children of zero children of zero dot text content so we are able to see that property right dot text content is equal to so leela i will try to write it see automatically this has been changed so in order to change the content of this one so we, we first we 
first we caught the element that is nothing but the paragraph element of children of zero and we change this one text content not only this one for example you can also modify so document dot body dot children of zero okay dot style dot background color so you can give the background color also background color is equal to red if i try to give so this has been converted into red color so like this i can catch the element and i can do these all things so from where these all the properties and all those things i have found it that is nothing but from this one so clear let's remove this one and run here again and here i how i have found this style dot background color means at the top if you go here one by one these are all the css things only so here somewhere you will be having this background color we need to go for with the b these are all m and b p q yeah here here dot background color there is this one background color somewhere we have got one second let's see here I have somewhere background color yeah here this is the background color we are having it right so if i try to run it so automatically this one will be changed automatically so this one will be changed so let's try to see so where i have found these all the things means so like this you'll be having all the things like this you'll be having and where you'll be having this background color so this one is showing so so here it will be changed automatically so i have used it right and this one you'll be having in the style see style dot background color i have used it so like this we can make use of these all the properties and you can change the element particular element you can change it so this particular element we can change it so like this you can able to access the children not only the children uh, not only the paragraph if you want to capture this uh, div element means so this one is the zero th children and first children so i can catch this one and i can change to one and i can change to one this time the div element has been changed okay so why it was okay so this one it should be one so now this time this development has been changed so like this we can catch the children using the children like this for example let's say that i am having a ull element i am having a ull element okay and here i can have this la element and i can have this href element so link one and I can close this LA. And I can have another LA. So like this, I can have another LA. So now let's let's see how we can do it. So first, I want to I, I want to capture this anchor element. So what I can do here? So let's try to first capture this UL element. Okay. So where UL is equal to document dot body dot children of zero so then you will be able to get the ul element so i got the ul element and i want to capture this li element so here where li element is equal to ul dot children so in that ul i am trying to take the children children of zero so first element i will be taking so this li in this li i want to capture the anchor element so where anchor is equal to li dot children of zero so the first element right so li of children of zero so now if i try to do console dot log of a so let's see that what will happen so if i try to run this one so i'm able to get an anchor element so this is an anchor element and this one is having link one so like this we are able to traverse this one so if it is the second element means so of zero of one you will be using so for example i want to capture the link two so that means li item is in the in this children children of one so i can capture this children of one then if i try to run this one so this time i am able to be able to access the link to so here i want to change this color means a dot style dot background color is equal to red i will try to convert it so if i try to see here the link has been converted into the red color so like this like this we can access so how the document uh, works is the, like this it's a dom tree so like this tree structure it will be trying to find so this is how you'll be having so for example if i want to change this one text content means a dot text content i can change directly okay i can change it to red color so like this you'll be having so this is the basic traversing of the using the document object how we can traverse through the elements okay so by using the children of zero children 
so basically it will work like this so of traversing like children of zero children of one so it will be having a dom tree like structure so using the tree like structure how we will be traversing is like this so we can have we also have some handy methods which will try to see those all things but inside these handy methods internally how it will work is using like this only children of zero children of one like that so they will be having internally their own mechanism to find it but how it will work is like this it will work so this is how we will be traversing and uh, this is how we will be changing the text content style background color so what are the things you want to do it using the object if you explore that object you will be able to find the handy methods in that object and you can change it whatever you want it you can change it or otherwise if you google those things also you will be able to find it easily so these are the things which how the dom using the document how we will traverse the element 